Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the fact that we are basically in the middle of a fairly significant rally. Uh, in the short term, we have gotten rejected off of the 100 day moving average. We'll see if that actually holds or not. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the sale on the premium list. You'll get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram Alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the Risk dashboard, and more. You can find a link to the sale in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So technically, we are still in our range of being between 30 to 40K, all right? So what I generally mean is that our range of approximately 40.6 down to, all the way down to around 29, 29.6. This has essentially been our range since May, okay? Now, as we continued along, we were spending more time at the lower end of the range than the upper end, okay? So if we just sort of break this up for, for visualization purposes, you can see we were spending more time at the bottom of the range rather than the top of the range. But we still technically were range bound between around 29K. We did have a wick down to, uh, down to 28.7, but that was very short-lived. Um, and then we've also been at, at around 40.6 or so a number of times. And most recently, this, this rally that we just had took us up exactly to the 100-day moving average, okay? Now, coincidentally, this here happens to correspond to the tops of these candles back over here. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means we still have some work to do. It doesn't mean that Bitcoin can't do it. It just simply means we have more work to do. Now, we are moving up relatively quickly. Now, I know, I know recently, uh, because uh, you know, sentiment can change relatively easily, if people care about what has it done in the last day or so, not necessarily what has it done in the last week. Obviously, there's some people frustrated, uh, especially if they, you know, if they FOMO bought uh, at 40.6 or something. Um, after potentially not buying down here. Remember, when, when the market is bearish, DCAing is generally the best strategy, right? DCAing is generally the best strategy. And that would go for whether we break out here or not and we come back down. You just have to admit, you simply do not know where the bottom is. Um, now, when you look at this, we could say, well, I mean, technically we're still in a fairly quick and aggressive uptrend, okay? So this has not really broken yet. We'll see how long we can hold this. Note that we've had six days in a row so far that are green. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're currently in our seventh day. By the end of the day, we could have a seventh day green as long as we close above $37,263. If we close above that, it'll be a seventh green day in a row. And it's actually been quite some time since we had a full week of, of nothing but green. Um, this one here was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there were seven green candles in a row back in, in March. Okay, so that was, I believe that was the last time we had seven green daily candles in a row. And you can see, I mean, just how crazy this move has been. In the last week or so, you know, the, the valuation to even to the current area has moved up a modest 28%. To the local top that we went up to, around 39%. So Bitcoin has had quite the bounce over the last week. Now, the question now becomes, well, what about these, you know, what about all these uh, moving averages that we've discussed? So again, we've discussed many of them. There's the, the 20 day, which we're well above. Remember, anytime Bitcoin gets above the 20 day, really no matter where we are, the market starts to come alive a little bit because people are happy that the price is higher than the average price of the last 20 days. Um, the 50 day, we quite handedly beat. Okay, we quite handily moved above it. The 100 day has, has knocked us down for the time being. The 200 day is a bit higher um, at, at 44,640. Okay, so this would be another area to watch. Not to be confused with the 20 week SMA, which is coming in more around $45,000 or so. If we switch over to the weekly time frame, you can see that the 20 week SMA is at $44,402. Okay, so that would be a ma major area to keep an eye out on. Now remember the the the, the 21 week EMA is um is is one that we've actually already gotten above uh, earlier in our wick. All right, right now we're actually back down below it, but we were we were above it for you know for a few moments earlier when we had that wick up to the the 40.6k level. So what do you need to know? Well, 
you know, at the end of the day, we are still very much playing in the sandbox. We would we would like to not be playing in the sandbox. I mean, you know, I mean, we've been in the sandbox for a while. We would like to not be playing in the sandbox, but technically we are still in our in our little sandbox down here. Okay? Is there a reason to be excited? Of course, there's always reason when you have six days in a row that are green. Obviously, momentum is really strong. We've had many bounces off the 50-week SMA in the past, uh, so it's not like it's not like seeing a bounce off the 50-week is is that um, unheard of. We've seen a number of times we've gotten bounces off the 50-week SMA. Here was one. There was another. If you go back even further. Uh, here was another bounce off the 50 week back in, in 2014. So we've seen plenty of bounces off the 50 week moving average before. The main task will come again when we get up to our bull market support band um, and actually try to get above it and then come back down and hold it as support. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we do have the premium list. If you want to know how I am navigating these markets, you can find a link to the sale and lock in the lower rate in the description below as well. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let's go for half a million subscribers. Click the bell icon to turn on your notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye.